Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Alvarin Bariro with name K1E020015. And here I want to present about the comparison between nominative accusative language and ergative absolutive language. Kindly check this out. So, there will be two tables that illustrate the differences between Japanese as nominative accusative language and past two as ergative absolutive language. So, let me explain the first one that is Japanese as nominative language. As you can see in the table, there are two sentences that is Otoko ga suita and Otoko ga kodomo omita. And since Japanese as an accusative language, so the direct object of transitive verb is treated differently with the single argument of intransitive verb and the subject of transitive verb. It can be seen from the particle that used in the both subject that is particle ke, while the object of transitive verb using a particle o. According to the first table, we can conclude that the argument of the intransitive and the agent of the transitive sentence are marked with the same nominative case that is particle ke, while the object of the transitive sentence is marked with the accusative case that is particle o. We jump to the second table that is past you as ergative language. And then in this table, there are two sentences that is Gizona etorida and Gizona mutila ikusidu. As we know that ergative language is treated the subject of intransitive verb differently with the subject of transitive verb. It can be seen from the suffix that used in both subjects. Uh, the both subjects use different suffix. In the first sentence, Gizon used suffix A, while in the second sentence, Gizon used suffix Ak. And uh, the object of the transitive verb Mutila has the same suffix with the subject of intransitive verb. From the second table, we can conclude that Gizon has a different case marking depending on whether it is the argument of a transitive or intransitive verb. The absolutive case that is suffix a and then an ergative case that is suffix a. On the contrary, the core argument of the intransitive clause and the object of the transitive clause have the same absolutive case. And then, besides Japanese, the other example of accusative nominative language are English, German, Korean, Turkish, Finnish, and Romanian. While the other example of ergative absolutive language besides Basque are Tagalog, Georgian, Inuktitut, Kalkomelum, Kirbal, Warungu, and Galaga. However, ergative absolutive is far less common than the nominative accusative language. Right, I think that's all for my explanation. Hopefully, it can be clear to you. And uh, I would say thank you for your attention. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.